You tell me when you're ready. Okay. Hola, I'm Senora Nicolai, and this is... Hola, Senora Grant here. Today we're going to learn how to make churros. So there's a recipe right on It's Learning. If you would like to make it along with us, feel free to do that. Senora Grant and I are gonna work together and we're gonna show you how to make them. To start, you need a saucepan with one stick of butter. And then you're going to need one cup of water that you can pour right in with the butter. I have the heat on medium right here in the saucepan. And then we're going to also add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So here's my salt in a quarter teaspoon. There we go. So now we're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, so now it's boiled, right? It's come to a boil. So now using a wooden spoon, we're going to um, stir in the flour here. That's one cup of flour. It's looking good. So now we're gonna reduce the heat to low and then we're gonna stir vigorously until it forms a ball. It's kind of getting there right now. It's getting thicker. It's almost there. Ooh. So now we removed the dough from the heat and now we're going to stir in three eggs. And I'm going to do one at a time and gradually beat them into the dough after I add each one. So here's my first one. Here's one egg. I'm gonna beat it into the dough. You notice I'm using a wooden spoon and not a metal one because this is a, a pot with coating and I don't want to ruin the pot. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in another egg and I'm gonna do the same thing for all three eggs. So now we are going to heat about two inches of oil in a heavy high sided pot over medium high heat until the oil reaches 360 degrees. And then meanwhile, uh, Senora Nicolai is going to spoon the churro dough into a pastry bag fitted with a large tip, but because we don't have a pastry bag, you can also use a Ziploc bag. So what did you do, Senora? Did you cut the end So I before? cut the end of the corner of the bag, mm -hmm. and then you put your tip in there afterwards to make sure that the tip can fit nice and neat. And so now I put a scoop of the dough in here, and you can see I've kind of pushed some of the air out, and it's coming out now. And so now this is ready to use. I'm not gonna put all of it in there at once because if I get too much in my bag, it kind of comes out the other side, and I don't wanna make a mess with it. <laughs> So our oil, oh, sorry. No, no, go Is ahead. It still recording? Our oil has been heating since we started to prepare the dough. So our oil is hot enough now to cook with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gently squeeze some of this into the oil. And I'm gonna let it stay there for about, oh, let me see what it says on the, recipe. It, it says just squeeze about a four inch strip and it can be however long you want. Um, you can do three or four strips at a time in about two minutes per side. So we'll see how the oil does with it. I'm going to squeeze some in there. And I should have had a little knife so I can kind of break it. My oil seems like it might be a little hot so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And we're gonna see how that one does first. I have already my tongs. Thank you. 
some tongs here so that way this here my oil was hot so actually it doesn't need to stay in there for two minutes it's cooking really fast mm -hmm. gonna flip it where are they gonna put this after and this now stuff? when it's done this is you can see it's kind of brown and toasty now you would need a plate with a paper towel on it and you would put this right on the plate there we go we're gonna make a couple more of those okay now we're gonna make some hot chocolate this is a thick hot chocolate to go along with our churros so to do that you need one tablespoon of cornstarch and you need one cup of milk so i have my milk here i'm going to pour that into my measuring cup first I got a little bit too much. It's a good thing I bent down and looked at it. And then I'm going to put my cornstarch into this and I'm going to mix it up. So you want the cornstarch to dissolve in your milk. And then you're going to set this aside. In another little dish, or sorry, in your saucepan now, you want to add another cup of milk and your chocolate. For the chocolate, you can use chocolate chips like what we have. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips and you need about two cups of those. And so in my saucepan, I'm going to combine two cups of the chocolate chips with one cup of milk. So there we go. Now we have, if you want to show them and you can stir that. Now we have. So now we have our chocolate with the milk on a saucepan. And we're going to keep stirring that as it cooks and melts. Okay, now Senora Grunt has a quarter cup of sugar and she's going to put that into the melted chocolate. And she's stirring that to mix it all together. And then she's going to also Mix in our one cup of milk with one tablespoon of cornstarch. And she's going to keep mixing that for about five minutes until it starts to get thick. If this doesn't get thick after about five minutes, then it's okay to add a little bit more cornstarch. Okay, so now we've been stirring the chocolate. We mm. needed to add some more cornstarch because it wasn't getting as thick as we wanted it to get. So we've added it and we've been stirring it. Mm, and now that. it's getting thicker. So now we can remove it from the heat. So we've been stirring it on a low heat. Now we're removing it from the heat. And then after it cools down just a little bit more, we're going to pour it into some um, little dishes so we can eat it warm with our churros. All right, so this is the finished product. There's the little container of the thick hot chocolate. Mm. There's a churro piece. That's the only piece that's left because we're and sharing. Then look at it, then you dunk so it in there. Is. There's Senora Mechanic and ready to chow down. Mm. Here we go. So I make sure I got it covered in chocolate. Mmm. Mmm.